Today's build grew out of a challenge to make a document recording setup using a smartphone, whether it's an iPhone, an oh, Android like oh. phone, with a rig that would be easily available to make out of things that are in home already, or you had to go out there and real quickly purchase like one or two items and you can make it. This one costs about four dollars to make. This one costs, if you have all the materials, zero dollars to make. And it will allow you to look at details, help students go through worksheets, read-alongs on books, discussing maps and all sorts of other things. I'll even show you how to make a couple little quick pointers to work on the details. Interested? Here we go. Document cameras and rigs that usually are available before the coronavirus broke out are gone. They usually come from China. They're not, we, who knows when they're going to be available or if they're going to be available. And they cost upwards to $100 to $200. So this rig will help you do everything you need from your house. You take the videos that you put on your phones, upload it to YouTube, Google Classroom. This will also work for all sorts of different other projects that folks might want to do, you know, still projects or whatever. But this focus initially or intentionally designed for the teachers out there in providing you a solution that you can work with and make relatively easy. So I just have a half inch screw and nut combination. This was 99 cents at one of my local stores. You need two washers to sandwich the wood in. You can use a wooden ruler. Paint sticks also work well. This is just a small paint stick. This is a larger paint stick. Since I have both, I'm gonna show you how to do the larger one. First thing you gotta do is measure out seven inches. So I'm gonna go on this paint stick and just kind of mark it and then straight across as best as I can right here. You wanna measure that and you can use metric system or whatever is easiest for you. So that's right around 36. Mark it, that should be the center of the wood. And you're gonna to wanna to drill a hole just big enough to put the screw in. So I'm gonna use a center punch. You could use a nail point. This is soft wood, but you're just gonna pop this. So you can see it's pretty much in the center of the wood. Take my 3 32nd inch drill. Pass it through with a little bit of threads on the end. You could leave the wrapper on if you wanted to. Originally I had the wrapper off, but then sometimes there was this reflective glare on the surface. But I don't want to promote or advertise anybody's product because I'm not getting paid for that. So I'm just taking the wrapper off. Throw that off to the side. Now you're going to take the bottle cap off. And you try to find the center as best as you can. And mark it again. And then just drill another hole. Same size, same drill. Did I get the center? Yeah, pretty good. And that's all the tools you need. Maybe a screwdriver and a wrench. So originally I was using a ruler. And I don't think I need that much. The seven inches is key. You can see right here. It's right at seven inches. Because that allows you to lay your smartphone on top. So I'm just going to mark this right about there. And cut it off. So once it's cut, this wood piece that I'm using is just under nine inches. You could go with nine inches, that would be fine. This is how you want to assemble it. You want to take a washer at the top and the bottom. The reason why is because if you don't, when you put the bottle on, it'll have a tendency to do this flexing. It won't be perpendicular or straight, but with that washer in place on this end, that just smashes it down real good and it will give you what you need to have a straight platform. That's nice and firm. And then you just fit check that. Yeah, see, that's nice and perpendicular, and that's what you're going to rest your smartphone on, whatever you're photographing with. So you got to fill this guy up with water, and you want to get it up to around here. So I'm going to go do that and come back. So you can see how far I filled it up. And to give you a sense of how much that is, weight-wise, it's four pounds seven and a half ounces you can get it around eight ounces and that's going to work as a counterweight for the phone to give you a sense of how much these things weigh that's an iphone it's 236 grams 8.3 ounces that has a cover on it by the way seven and three quarters 
ounces, 220 grams for this Android phone. So all you do is put a couple rubber bands on there and that's going to hold your phone quite nicely. So it will be stable when you start shooting. This will get you a sense of what you can get with the camera. Now you've got the bottle over here and you want to avoid that. So all you do is just slide the phone until the bottle goes away. Go to the video. This is just a dowel that has, you put black tape on there. This just happens to have a little or a bolt cover on it. It just slides on like this. You could use a pencil, either the pencil sharp end for detail or this end this is just a standard white pencil. You can point to different things and as you talk about it and videotape it, you can go into more specific details about certain parts. You can see how you can get the intricacy of the detail. All shot with this simple camera mount and approach. Here you can go over worksheets. You write as you're going through, move yourself up to worksheet. This paint stirrer is thicker and wider, so it's a slightly better platform than the ruler is, but the ruler works. A couple things I've noticed having played with this design for a while, you don't want this thing to tip over. And under most circumstances, it's not gonna tip over. Although it's a little more stable, the more water you put in it. So you can kind of see this one's maybe three quarters of the way full. And this one's almost to the top. So I'm gonna add some water to this one and see if that makes a difference in the general stability. So I filled this bottle almost to the top and it's a little more stable. So the amount of water really makes a difference. You could fill this up with sand if you wanted to. I just use water because most people have water on hand. The other thing you can do is reinforce the base. This is just a $2 4 inch PVC pipe. I'll put a link down below. And this is great because all you have to do is raise it up, push it down, and you've got a real solid base. I can't even tip that over. See? So for another two dollars you've got it down. Now I realize that that's doubling the price or the cost of the build but if you're gonna do a lot of videos probably that's worth it. The other thing you can do this is a uh, this is a protein can you, and you could use any kind of lid but what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to take some hot glue put it on all these ends here and then just glue it down here and kind of replicate the stability here that I've got here and that's just the price of a lid before I glue this in place just want to give you a point of reference this is right around four and a half inches and you could use almost anything I just happen to have this on hand so I'm heating up my hot glue gun. Now you could do this without the water, but I think the water will actually protect the plastic a little more because it will cool the hot glue down on the opposite side. So I put a generous glob of glue in all five of the little footprints there, and I'm gonna to try to center it as best as I can, push down, and in a matter of seconds, literally, you've got a much better base. gonna stick. If you don't want to spend two dollars and use the coupler you could just take a square nut container and I used a hacksaw and I just cut off the top here like this and then you just put the bottle press it down in there like that yeah and that's that's just as stable as that so now you've stabilized it with a much stronger base. The device works great for maps. You can point out details, illustrations, pictures, zoom in and highlight key points in a document. You could work on sentence structure, point out key points, 
nouns, verbs, adjectives, things like that. Thumbs up and comments always appreciated. Thanks for watching. I think this is going to work out for some folks and hopefully they'll help them out. I'd love to hear your comments on how we could probably make this better. I'm certainly open to making a second or third generation version. Just send me your comments and thoughts and I'll incorporate them in a new video if I get enough. If this works too, that'd be great to know. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more videos about all sorts of crazy things, crazy builds, making things, breaking things coming soon.